given that uh, there are so many different points to be able to talk about this, you're speaking from history, but are there interdisciplinary teams that of academics who are investigating this issue um, of mass violence and also the, the opposite, which would be social empathy? So are there teams of academics investigating this work? If you one example, the whole question of inter-ethnic relations and violence, uh, as well as coexistence, uh, has become a major field of research in the last decade or two. Uh, I'll give you one example that relates directly to Brown University. Uh, in the last few years, I conducted a project on borderland, uh, coexistence and violence. Um, that was a project that lasted about three and a half years. Uh, it was centered at Brown, but then it uh, expanded also to other American universities uh, and European universities. Uh, and it dealt precisely with this area that I spoke about, that vast borderland uh, of Eastern Europe, uh, from the Baltic to the Balkans, uh, covering a multitude of ethnic groups. We investigated that from a variety of angles. There were well over 100 academic papers presented. Uh, not only by historians, but by sociologists, anthropologists, political scientists, ethnographers, and so forth, uh, trying to understand uh, the, uh, the manner in which inter -eth well, ethnic minorities had lived side by side in these parts of Europe for many centuries, and the reasons why this area exploded into such uh, horrendous ethnic violence in the middle of the 20th century, some of this, of course, continuing uh, well into our own time, as was seen in the war in the former Yugoslavia in the 1990s. Uh, this had implications also for many other cases of inter-ethnic relations and violence. Uh, one, one example also from the 1990s, of course, was the case of the genocide in Rwanda uh, between the Tutsi uh, and the Hutu. Um, we tried to think about it both historically but also um, um, sociologically and in terms of education. What was it that led ultimately to these outbursts of violence and what could be done both within the international community in terms of international law and intervention and on the level of education, uh, political propaganda and so forth to ameliorate or to prevent outbreaks of inter-ethnic violence uh, in the future. Uh, this is only one example. There are, there are other um, uh, groups working uh, on this. Our own project is now um, under review as a book, and I hope that it will be published uh, in the next year or two, uh, uh, co-edited by Professor Eric White from Minnesota and myself. Uh, let me add one thing to this. Uh, this is a very difficult issue, uh, and, and it is one in which history and present politics uh, tend to be uh, intimately involved. Uh, history both as uh, what is studied by scholars uh, in an attempt to uh, reconstruct as fairly and objectively and in a balanced way what had happened in the past, but also history as something else. History as events that are cited by interested parties uh, in order to justify their own points of view. And I'll give you just one example of how uh, present this still is today. I, I just came back yesterday uh, from a conference at Princeton University which dealt with the Holocaust in Poland. It was an extremely good and important conference. It was organized by Jan Tomasz Gross. I think that many of you uh, will have heard of him. He's the author of the book Neighbors. Uh, about uh, Polish violence against Jews in a specific Polish town of Jedwabne in eastern Poland. Uh, the conference was very good. There were many young Polish scholars there who presented their own scholarly work, but uh, it was visited by a number of uh, Polish uh, residents of Princeton and the vicinity in New Jersey, New York, who were quite angered by the very idea that there would be a conference about the Holocaust in Poland and were strongly um, um, protesting 
against this kind of uh, objective historical evidence. Moreover, curiously, the Polish consulate in New York sent a representative uh, to the conference who read a letter of protest by the Polish consul herself uh, against this conference because of her feeling that it would defame Poland. Uh, and so what we have here is a great deal of tension between scholarly work and attempts, real attempts at reconciliation, that is, at a conference where there were Americans, uh, Poles, um, Jews, of course, uh, uh, as well, who were talking about that past um, in a balanced, um, uh, open way, and the sense of defensiveness and fear lest this provide a version of history that is inconvenient uh, for nationalists who would like to simply erase, delete that from their own history.